Hey there, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and today we're going to take a look at two products in a head to head competition. First, as seen on TV, Flex Tape. Second, Gorilla Waterproof Patch and Seal Tape. Now, both of these products make the same claim. They both say that they are waterproof, they both say that they can work underwater, they both say they can stop water leaks. They both say that they're made in America, but today we're going to see which one is the best product. But first, let's take a closer look at what we have. Flex tape, as seen on TV item, can be purchased at a variety of retailers. I happen to get this one at Amazon for $12.99, but I also saw it at Walmart for the same price. This unit is 4 inches wide, and it's a 5 foot roll. Now the Gorilla Tape, I also purchased on Amazon for $12.97. Three cents different, that's a bargain. I did not see this in Walmart, I couldn't find it at a different retailer, so if you want to look into this a little more, I'll put the link down in the description. This one also is a four inch wide roll, but it's 10 foot long, so it's already twice the length for the same price, but like I said, Let's let the product do the talking and to see which one's better. For the ease of this, this flex tape is going to be the white tape that's going to be used and the Gorilla Tape is going to be the black tape. So when you're looking at the demonstration, you're going to know which is which. Let's get to it. Okay, so I want to get to the general idea of what this product is before we get started. It's just like it says, a roll of tape. But as you peel this apart, you notice that there's a film on this side as well. The directions say cut this to length that you want it and then right when you're about to apply it you peel off the film and you stick it on and you, they say use your hand or use a squeegee and just smooth it out as best you can. Um, the Gorilla Tape is the exact same way, the exact same concept. I will say just as I was handling these two, this one is definitely more of a rubbery feel than this one. This one feels more like plastic. It could be just because one is bigger than the other. Like I said, one's a 10 foot roll, the other one's a 5 foot roll. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we um, actually get to the test. But I wanted you to see how this product actually worked and what the directions say. They also caution not to get it in contact with your skin as it is very, very, very sticky. Okay, so here we have a bucket that we've cut a hole into with the one and a quarter inch saw. And I have a plug in there right now. We're going to utilize the flex tape first and then see how it goes. So here I'm going to peel off the plastic layer pop the plug and slap this in place all right let's see how that worked out And get closer. Put the plug down. It tells you to try to squeegee it out as best as you can, getting all of the bubbles out or getting a firm bond. Oops. Well, looks looks pretty good right now. I don't see any um, leaks coming down. Alright, let's see how the Gorilla Tape fares next. Okay, now it's time to put to the test the Gorilla Waterproof Patch and Seal. Um, I have a black piece here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to peel off the plastic. Get this set up, pull the cork, and smack it on. Oh, oh, automatically, didn't work. Let's see, is it waterproof? Let me see. Try it again. Definitely wasn't the same bond initially in fact it got shot right off when we try it again it's, it's already bubbling up here you can 
can see it still has water in the bucket above the hole. The water line's right about here, the hole's right about here. But I'm not certain how long this will take before it fails. Alright, let's take a closer look. You can see here, this is not pushing down like the flex tape did. It's holding for now, but it definitely shot off. I'll have to see how long this lasts. Now they do recommend it's only as a temporary fix, but you can see the difference between the Gorilla Tape and the Flex Tape right off the bat. Let's try inside bucket. All right, now we're gonna try from inside the bucket, inside the water, and see how it adheres to the bucket under water to cover up the hole. Remember, this is a one and one quarter inch hole that was drilled out. So I have my Flex Tape ready to go. We're going to pull the plug. We're going to squeeze this out as best we can. There's a little bit of water there, but I think it looks pretty good. Here it is. There's a little bit of water built up there, but I think for the most part it's a quick fix. This is the one we did about 20 minutes ago, still holding strong. Alright, let's see how the Gorilla Tape will do from inside the bucket of water. Okay, now we're going to try the Gorilla Tape from inside the bucket submerged in the water to see if it can stop a leak under water. I'm going to peel off the backing. This time I'm going to hold it there longer because last time it moved, so I'm hoping to avoid that this time. I'm going to pull the plug, get in the water I go, and covering the hole. All right, I'm just going to hold it there. underwater it appears to be holding didn't move that time but I also did hold it longer let's take a closer look this one has a little bit of a droplet there but that's to be expected we'll see what happens here's the original patch you have these parts that are still bubbled up haven't gone down I don't think they've gotten worse. Okay, there it is. So it's been about 30 minutes since I first plugged the four holes on this bucket. I wiped it off dry about 20 minutes ago and I just wanted to come back and see. This is the patch that was done on the inside. And look, you can see that there's just a little bit of uh, water there. So the flex tape held really, really strong here. If you look down here, you can see there's water dribbling down from here. Um, it is still holding, like I said, after 30 minutes, but it's starting to give way just a little or some of the water is seeping through. Now let's take a look at the gorilla side. All right, same thing. Little bit of tiny water, can't even tell. Um, it looks really, really good. That one I was worried about just because the way the initial one went on. But here is the other one. This actually looks like it's holding a little better. A little water on the top here. Um, so the initial application... Oh yeah, there's more down here too coming. Um, the initial application, the Flex Tape did a lot better than the Gorilla Tape. But it looks like the Gorilla Tape's holding up just as well. Um, next we're going to test the strength of the tape. Okay, so now we're going to test the strength of the flex tape. It says it can lift 45 pounds with ease. I don't have a 45 pound um, barbell or a 45 pound weight, but I do have 35 pounds here on this dumbbell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the outer laying of this flex tape. It didn't come off as easy as I hoped. So 
Sometimes it's really difficult to peel this stuff off. There it comes. All right, so, nope. <laughs> it ripped in half, so not all of it came off. Got a big enough piece. Oh, see it ripped again. Now I'm getting my hand stuck all over it. Nope, not down there. Oops, my finger stuck. Alright. Doesn't feel very easy. I think that's going to be the rest of it. Yep, that's the rest of it. It only took me 12 tries. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to wrap this around the dumbbell. I know it's probably going to make it stick to the dumbbell, uh, but I'll just see what it does as I lift. 35 pounds lifting straight up. Shake it a little bit. Looks like it's holding pretty well. So it could definitely hold something in the air. Not too bad. All right, that was that test. Now we'll try the Gorilla Tape. Okay, let's put the Gorilla Tape to the test now. Start to peel it, and you notice immediately it peeled so much better than the Flex Tape. The Flex Tape took me eight or ten tries. Um, I'm gonna, I want to leave a little bit on here just to go around the dumbbell so I can get it off later, but it um, automatically peeled so much easier. All right, so let's wrap this around the dumbbell. Gorilla tape, 35 pounds. Let's see. Well, it looks like it's holding. A little bounce, and it, oh, it's stretching. definitely holds it except as you can tell it stretched a whole lot further than the flex tape. I got it stuck to myself but it came right off. Hey this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You and I'm just going to do my wrap up of the flex tape gorilla tape challenge. As you remember from the video the flex tape held immediately to the bucket um, where the water was coming through both inside and outside whereas the Gorilla Tape, it shot off, and then I was able to pick it right back up and put it back on and hold it, so it still did adhere to the bucket when it was wet, but it did not work as fast as the Flex Tape. Inside the water, I found the same thing. This stuck really, really fast. I didn't have to hold it. It just went on and stuck, and even 30 minutes later, there was no water leaking, whereas this one, although it stuck, I did have to hold it longer. Um, so I do think this is a comparable item to the flex tape, but you just have to know that this one you're going to have to hold on at least to get the bond to secure. The strength test, they both lifted that 35 pound weight, no problem. Um, I did notice that the Gorilla Tape, the, the tape started to stretch and got longer, um, so I think that it's not a long term solution to anything. Um, whereas this, if you needed to secure something down, I think it would hold better. Hey, if you like this video, please click the like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment below. I love it when people comment and say, hey, can you review this or, or review that? And I'll look into it. Um, also, have you used Flex Tape or Gorilla Tape and found similar results? Let me know. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. I hope you have a great day.